What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the Sunshot and why it might be the most underrated exotic in the entire game right now. As you see, I just pulled this one out and it only has 32 kills on it and I can't remember the last time I actually used Sunshot before making this video and I think that needs to change and we should all be using Sunshot a lot more than we actually are. So in this video I'll be highlighting what makes this exotic so good and why you should be using it if you aren't already. So the first perk that makes Sunshot extremely good is its second perk, Sunblast. Targets killed with Sunshot explode in Solar Energy which is pretty much Dragonfly turned up to 11, which does not require a precision kill to actually proc it. And a huge difference between this and Dragonfly is every single explosion can then reproc the perk itself. So the explosion itself can actually chain forever as long as there's enemies nearby that actually die to the explosion, which then starts a new explosion and over and over again. So the AoE Aglerbus weapon is up there with like loaded question in terms of like just god tier, but this is on every single shot of a hand cannon, not just the first shot of a fusion rifle. The other thing that makes this exotic very good is Sunburn, this weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from sunshot so mostly the first part about firing explosive rounds that does two things for you the first one being that roughly a third of the weapon's damage is tied to the explosion round which means if you're not hitting precision hits with this weapon you're not going to be punished as greatly as if you're using a different hand cannon because roughly a third of its damage does not depend on where you're hitting the enemy so if, even if you're hitting them in the toe you'll still be getting that full damage. So not only do you not have to be super precise with this weapon, as you see, if you have the mass work on this weapon, the range is very, very high as is with Akarai's rounds. And on top of that, the explosion damage does not have damage drop off at all. No matter how far away you get from an enemy, you'll still be hitting that 868. So a third of the weapon's damage has no damage drop off at all. Then the other two thirds of the weapon's damage is also a pretty good range for a hand cannon. So with all that being said, this weapon's range is very good for a hand cannon, which is very helpful given the fact that they got that huge damage drop off nerf. The only thing Sunshot is really missing is a reload perk. But as you see, the base reload is actually very good. You pair that with something like Enhanced Hand Cannon Loader on your gauntlets. And if you do that, the reload is very quick and definitely usable. So Sunshot is pretty much one of the best exotic primaries in the game. Probably right up there with Huckleberry in my opinion. Because of the fact that it has that really good god tier AoE act clear. Where you kill one red bar and it'll pretty much chain and kill an entire group. Just from that one shot. Then on top of that, it has very very good range for a hand cannon. And this generally feels better than a lot of the other hand cannons in PvE right now because of the fact that it can avoid a lot of that damage drop off nerf that hand cannons got because of the fact it's an explosive weapon. And there's not really too much more to say than that. I'm not only making this video for you guys but also kind of myself to let myself know that I probably should be using this weapon more often because I definitely have not been giving it the playtime it deserves. And if you haven't been using this I definitely recommend you using it also. Anyways let me know what you guys think about Sunshot. Have you been using it unlike me or are you going to give it a try again after watching this video? Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.